Hey guys, Linda Bamba here from Linda Bamba. Were you searching for um, how to get more engagement on Facebook? If you landed on this video, um, you're looking for information about uh, how to get more engagement on Facebook, and I'm here on my personal profile, and I use my pro personal profile for networking, uh, meeting people, talking to them. Um, I do have a fan page. Uh, you need a fan page if you're going to do business on it or run ads and stuff like that. Um, so, I, I mean, the downside, you cannot network on your, your uh, pro fan page because you don't have access to the groups um, and you need that uh, a profile to get that. So, one of the things, I mean, the worst thing you can do um, with trying to get engagement on, you know, your fan page um, versus your profile, I mean, your profile is putting your business links. <laughs> Um, so you want to try to do a mix. I mean, I see people, I go to their timeline, like every 15 minutes, they put, you know, a link to something. Um, so, I mean, you want to stay away from that. And there's certain kinds of posts, like I put my blog post on here every day. I blog, um, and it's an article with something that's telling people, giving people, showing them how to do something. And posts like this, now I posted this on the 28th. My bank account got hacked on Monday morning. And I posted this, and you can see it's got 28 likes and 45 comments. Things like this are going to get a whole lot more engagement um, than, uh, like, my, I, I do get engagement to my blog post um, than other things. And people have the tendency to, you know, they're putting their links. Now, this one, um, I'm just talking about uh, the myths about giving and receiving, got 11 um, comments. Now this, I posted this the day after Christmas, and I just put, this is what Santa brought me. Um, I got the secret on CD. You can see there's 40 comments, and then there's 11 likes here. And then, you know, if you look through the thread, you know, I'm replying to people, people are replying back. Um, these are the things, the kind of posts that are going to get you a whole lot more engagement than, um, you know, going down your your page and <laughs> posting your links. And, and you really want to um, try to stay away from that. I'm not saying, now this is another post I made the day before Christmas. Christmas Eve was about a week ago. This got 42 likes and this got eight comments. This was a Christmas card somebody sent me uh, that I met on Facebook that um, he put my picture on it and I thought that was really cool so I put that up there. Um, it's those kinds of things. Now this is um, a holiday thing that um, I'm in my lead system pro, anybody knows who follows me, you know, that this is a promotion that's going on with courses. And you can see here, um, I do post this on, you know, I keep a mix of them um, and don't put a whole lot of things like this, but this is taking people to a sales page. Um, there's actually some really good deals that this expires on the 6th, but if you're going to be doing, um, you know, this kind of stuff, all the time and sending people to a business link you're not going to get an um a lot of engagement and even this this is a webinar a free webinar and when i do my own webinars i post it on here you know it doesn't get a lot of um engagement so you can see the kinds of things um that are going to bring bring people towards you um, so when you're posting on your timeline, I, I say, you know, definitely at the minimum post on your timeline once a day. Um, but, you know, don't just post anything. And, you know, if you could post more two or three times, uh, then certainly go ahead and do that. Now, if you go, another thing you need to, you need to be consistent with this and you need to be, um, connecting with people. Um, so... Now, this is my news feed. One of the things you want to do is you want to go, and if you do this once or twice a day, it's not going to take you a long time. Go through your news feed. I'm looking for um, threads here that have um, a lot of activity on it where I can post now. I don't, um, Joe, I know. And you can see here, he's just saying, hey, happy, hi, happy new year. And you can see here he's got 153 likes on this and comments. Now, I'm just going to like this. And I'm going to put down here and say, Happy New Year, Joe. I know Joe. I'm going to tag him. 
I mean, if you're friends with somebody, you can easily tag them. And in a minute, I'll show you how you can tag somebody if you're not friends with them. And you can see here, this is highlighted. And then another thing I do, and this is a whole other video, I'll just go over this really quick, is I'll go through and click who's like this. And I'll go through, I'm looking for people who I have mutual friends with. Now, you can see here, he, can't, he liked it. Um, that I have mutual friends with, that I'm not friends with. And if I hover over their name, I'm going to follow them. Now, I'm already following her. And I do this routinely every day. Now, I'm not following him, so I'm going to click follow. What that does is it sends a message to the person, and it activates them to you. And if you start doing that consistently, you'll be drawing more people to you. And, I mean, you do have to go through and like and comment on other people's stuff. Nobody's going to... Um, do, you know, come back and like your stuff if you're not doing it. And you just won't, don't want to randomly, just don't go and pick things for doing it. Now, I mean, today, because it's New Year's Eve, a lot of people are going to be posting stuff um, about New Year's Eve. But that's how to get more engagement on your face Facebook profile. Create curiosity, you know, ask questions. Those are all things that you can do to get more curiosity. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more free training, you can subscribe to my newsletter. Go ahead, click the link below, and I'll see you on the next video.